Okay, I fully appreciate I run the risk of boring the hell out of everybody with this, but like I said in a different video, it's very exciting for me. Now, what I've done here actually is prepare three small samples on paper this time as it happens. And there's the original one, and we've got a, your usual strips, and we've got our zinc sulfide nanoparticles mixed with graphene there. And I've also tried doping them a little, with, a little bit with a 0.3% dopant. And here we've doped it with copper, and here we've doped it with manganese. Now, we're under fluorescent lights on the inside, of course, so if we connect that one up, we get nothing. And ordinarily, you'd be a little disappointed by that. Now we put the copper one on. Then we get a tiny, tiny voltage. I mean, we're talking about a square centimetre of active material here under fluorescent lights, so we're getting 0.1.2 microamps. Tiny. Now we put the manganese one on. That jumps up to 1.4, 1.3. So clearly, quite an effect has been had just by a tiny amount of dopant and what dopant you put on it. Now what I thought I'd do is I'd try it with a bulb, with a lamp. So I've got here a 100 watt lights, 100 watt lamp, and let's just plug it in and see what happens. Look at that. So, I mean, that is just an ordinary lamp, and again, we get it shooting up, really. Um, so, that actually is kind of really impressive, I thought. It's going to drop back down now, because it's back under the fluorescent lights. But I thought that was pretty cool and well worth sharing with you, because obviously, the um, type and probably amount of dopant is going to have quite an effect on the performance of these cells. Anyway, I thought that was interesting, and I thought I would share it with you. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.